have two good friends who love motorbiking as much as I do. One of them is called Vidas, he's one of the most famous singers in Lithuania, and he even represented the country in Eurovision in 2015. And the other is called Thomas, he's a very well-known fashion photographer. This summer, the three of us decided to motorbike all the way from Lithuania to Switzerland and back in only 10 days, which is a trip of 4,500 kilometers. The only things I am going to take for the trip are in this really small backpack and uh, hopefully though there won't be any problems. The first day all of us were extremely busy and we could only start motorbiking at 8 p.m. which is arguably extremely late. We're already done 100 kilometers. The weather is very very nice and we're excited. We should reach uh, Warsaw today which is still about 400 kilometers away. So we'll probably be there at about 1 or 2 a.m. but it's all fine. We're not in a rush. It's 3 a.m. local time, 4 a.m. Lithuanian time, which means that we've been motorbiking for the past eight hours, almost without any stops. Rough day, but we made it. Ugh. Rain shoes. This is the morning of the day number two, and we're ready to go towards Vienna. We'll have some breakfast now and then go all the way for about 700 kilometers, I think. So it's gonna take us way more than 10 hours. Okay, see you. That day we slowly made our way towards Austria. Sometimes there was quite a lot of traffic, though generally the road was never ending, which made it really boring. But we still managed to have a lot of fun together. Yay! Yay! <laughs> that night we didn't reach Vienna and slept in Brno, but I was too tired to film anything. Poor mosquitoes. Poor mosquitoes. Oh look, it's me! What up? In the afternoon of our third day, we finally reached Austria, and the roads were becoming more and more interesting. So this is our first morning in Austria and I'm in my balcony and take a look at the view I'm seeing now. How epic is this? I don't know why but every time I come up to the mountains I feel so free and so alive. So I'm excited, all's good, let's go explore some mountains. This lady was the owner of our hotel. The night before she learned that Vidas had participated in Eurovision which was held in Austria. So early next morning she ran up to him with a national dress and asked him to take pictures together. He looks like from a milk advertisement, no? With the with the mountains in the background. Look, the mountains. Why does somebody should hire you? Bravo! Bravo! You have a really good show here. <laughs> yeah! We 
are currently in a crazy rainstorm and we need to go up the mountains for about one kilometer. We have to be driving for 40 kilometers in this crazy rain. And my shoes are already soaked. So I just got all of my waterproofs and I hope they will uh, help me out. So we were motorbiking in a big and very, very, very cold rainstorm for more than one hour. Then we decided to stop at this restaurant right here to get some food. And while we were eating, the sky has cleared and the view is majestic. Take a look at the mountains behind me, right there. These views are the reason we motorbiked 1,500 kilometers in just three days. And it's definitely worth it. We made it! We're 3,798 meters above sea level. And the view is remarkable. So good, though so cold. Look at my hands, they're almost shaking. <laughs> In the evening, it began raining again and we got totally soaked. This is how you dry your clothes when there's no other heating. As you can see, this is an oven with some tasty barbecue shoes inside, some gloves, a backpack that's totally soaked, another backpack, another pair of shoes, and whatever else. Yay! I think I ordered a different pizza. Yay! We're back in the mountains, but today the weather is absolutely amazing. And we're gonna go explore a beautiful waterfall. It's supposed to be one of the best in Austria, as I heard. Let's go! Wow, this waterfall is huge and it's really cold here. It was very, very, very beautiful. I was just standing on that cliff right there. That is the closest point you can get to the waterfall. I'm so happy. Look at this beauty. Oh, my camera is all wet. Wait, it's kind of cold motorbiking now, but whatever. It's still good not to get soaked. Look at these guys. They're happy. Soaking wet. Once we left the waterfall, Midas felt like showing some love to our fellow bikers. <laughs> Yay! There's so many bikes in these roads. Look at those guys. There's literally hundreds. Yeah! <laughs> Throughout those few days in Austria, I realized the country was full of really beautiful lakes, literally anywhere you went. Another balcony in Austria, another really nice view. As you can see, we have mountains. Here, there, 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 everywhere. I love these views. Hello!
The next day we were supposed to go to Switzerland, but the guys wanted to take a day off from motorbiking and do some hiking, whereas I really wanted to cross some mountain passes in Switzerland. So we decided to split up and meet in two days. So I've already reached Switzerland and it's raining like crazy. I'm still 100 kilometers away from my today's destination. I'll just keep on driving and see what happens. Let's go. Swiss. Hundreds of people are waiting for a football match, literally in the middle of a random street. And the funny thing is, Switzerland is not even playing. There's people having a picnic waiting for a football match. So today I'm going to explore two of the best mountain passes in Switzerland and probably all of Europe and they should be very very nice, especially on a motorbike, especially given the fact that it's sunny today. I'm very happy and uh, let's go! These roads were definitely the best roads that I've seen throughout the whole trip and the views were breathtaking the whole way. I'm not making good time because I stop every five minutes to admire the views. This town was almost at the border with Italy. Since I didn't want to go any more down south, I turned around at this point and went to North Switzerland. A few hours later I arrived to Zurich and spent the evening with my friend Yaris. Early the next morning I went back to Austria where I met up with the guys and all of us headed back towards Lithuania. It took us another 3 long days to get there and even though it's really boring motorbiking on highways, all of us were extremely happy with the whole trip. 